In my previous video I have mentioned an egg with embossed text. Now I got a question from a subscriber, how to draw that egg, and how to do it with constrained geometry. Drawing an egg is actually pretty simple, using splines. This video is just some kind of quick tip, how to do it with the two different spline types Fusion 360 provides, and how to fix or constrain it. First we gonna set the opacity of the sample egg to 50%, because it shall be used as a template for the new sketches. Create new sketch at the YZ plane. Draw a vertical constrained line from origin along the Z axis. Select the fit point spline and draw a curve with two intermediate points from one end of the line to the other. Constrain the handles of starting and end point with a horizontal constraint. This is needed later on, to get a tangent transition, when creating the egg body. The spline isn't fully constrained yet, and can be modified by dragging the fit points manually. To prevent accidentally changes there are two options. If there are no certain dimensions or constraints needed, and its form is ok, the spline just could be fixed. For any further changes, the fixation can be toggled with the same command to unfixed again. In some cases, just fixing the spline may not be precise enough. Then, each of the fit points, as well as their handle length and angle, have to be constrained, either to other geometry, or by given dimensions. Now, that the sketch is fixed or fully constrained, the last thing to do, is creating the body. And this is simply done by revolving the sketch around the z-axis. First egg, using a fit point spline is finished. Now we gonna do the same with a control point spline. Again, creating a new sketch at the y-z-axis. Draw the vertical constrained line from origin along the z-axis. Select the control point spline out of the create menu, and draw the curve, with four control points, from one end of the vertical line to the other. Note, that unlike the fit point spline, the control points are not on the curve itself. Constrain the construction lines of starting and end point to the next control point with a horizontal constraint. This is needed later on, to get a tangent transition, when creating the egg body. As long as the spline isn't fully constrained yet, it can be modified by dragging the control points, or their connecting construction lines manually. If there are no constraints or certain dimensions needed, and the form of the spline is ok, the spline again just could be fixed, to prevent accidentally changes. Or, the spline, or rather its control points also could be constrained, either to other geometry, or by given dimensions. Sketch is fixed or fully constrained, the body can be created, again by revolving the sketch around the z-axis. There might be other methods to create such forms like an egg, for instance probably with lofts, but would require for sure quite bit more effort. This shown method seems to me the simpliest. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. 
I hope this little quick tip is useful for one or the other. And, eventually we gonna see us in a next video.